know, I remember, you know, actually being in Dubai this year. I was invited to one of these uh, peace conferences they have, and of course, when they say peace, you know, usually they 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 mean peace in the sense of let's hold hands and wave flowers and all of this nonsense. Not the true peace that Islam wants to establish, which entails justice. I was at one of these conferences, and uh, I went along and I said, "Hey, let me go along so maybe I can add something of goodness in Allah." And at the beginning, we were with all of these shuyukh, you know, some of the shuyukh from this country, some from abroad. We found that there were people within the the, uh, the Ministry of Islamic Affairs. And Subhanallah, when the conference began, they played the national anthem of the United Arab Emirates. Now, of course, I remained sitting. I said, I'm not going to stand for this national anthem. I have no respect whatsoever for it. And you find, Subhanallah, the ones who stayed seated among the shuyukh were the ones from the West or the ones who also teach in the West. There was one from Egypt, may Allah reward him. And you found that they, they sat. But all of the others, they stood. They stood for what? For a national anthem. And yani this shows you in our lands, in the Muslim lands, that many of them don't have a proper understanding of our Islam. Yet the ones who are living in the Western countries, some of them have the right Aqeedah. They're following the Haqq. Now we have a duty to go back to these lands. Don't think Hijrah means you're escaping and now you're going to live an easy life. No, we too have a duty. We too have a duty, SubhanAllah. And even you know, uh, being in these lands and seeing just how you know far behind we have become in some of them. What you know some see as progress, in reality, it's you know backwardness. We have to ask you know what what is it that they're protecting in these Muslim lands? Why are they protecting these tyrants? You know I've I've actually sat in with them. You know before Alhamdulillah. You know, when I was a new Muslim, when I was still very ignorant about many affairs of the Ummah, I was invited to many of these conferences. You know, we actually sat in the palaces with these rulers. I've been in their company, and I promise you, I wouldn't go back even for a single minute. I have no interest in sitting there with them. You know, a lot of the people, you know, they actually come and say to us, no, how can you speak about these people? Our governments, they're good people and this and that. Only if you knew them. I've sat with them. I've seen them speak, and I've seen their hypocrisy. I've seen subhanAllah, one of the ulama leaders of this Muslim land. And he was saying to him, why is it that you're not doing anything to get rid of riba banks in your lands? Why aren't you ruling by the sharia? And he couldn't respond. This so-called leader, he couldn't respond. He just pushed him away as if, no, no, no. You know, you, you don't understand, you don't understand. You don't understand? SubhanAllah. This is why you find these lands they're living in subhanAllah disgusting situations. I remember again being there this year with some of the Shiyah where we'd go, you know, to the, the Masjid for Fajr. And this is in Dubai, a so called Muslim land. You'd go to the Masjid for Fajr and you'd be approached by about five or six women. Of course, you know what they're approaching you for. In Australia I've never seen this. In Dubai I see this. This is a disgusting land. May Allah guide them. But we have to realize that they are our brothers, this is our ummah, and we have to reform them. That is why, subhanAllah, many of the people are saying, please, you have to get the shayukh from the West to come and guide our people. Because our people, they think that the West is going to grant them victory. Yet you are the ones who know this is not the case. So the Muslims in the Khalij, in the land of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they're the ones who are backwards. And now you have to bring the shayukh from the lands of the Kufar to come educate them. This is our duty, dear Muslims. We have to realize that we too are going to play a part. That we too can be du'at this to the way of Allah. We too can be part of this global awakening, insha'Allah, to awaken our Muslim lands. I remember again, subhanAllah, you know, some of these events really clarify where a person should be as a Muslim. I was in Kuwait during Ramadan and I was invited uh, to a gathering. And this gathering was made up of certain du'at and shuyukh and you know they were there to supposedly do good for the sake of Allah, you know, building masajid and Islamic centers around the world. And this is where all of you know these, these people get together. And they were talking about ikhlas and sincerity and all of these things, how to be the best Muslim, you have to give your money to build a masjid and all these things. And I remember subhanAllah, something stood out which until today subhanAllah, I really, I feel cold when I remember it. I feel ashamed as a Muslim 
to have seen such a thing. There we are in Kuwait, and we could hear a roar of engines. We could hear these engines whirring around us. And so you looked above, and what did we see? We saw an American aircraft, an American military aircraft, taking off from within Kuwait, from their army base within this country. And you could see the plane clearly. You could see the missiles under its wings. And it was flying in the direction of Iraq. And I was asking myself, SubhanAllah, here we are sitting, sitting, talking about sincerity. Yet when I said to the mothers, if only we knew that plane was coming, maybe we could have prepared. They said, brother, this is not right. Brother, leave them be. This is not our affair. Let the government worry about this. I said, SubhanAllah, how have we fallen into such hypocrisy that here we are giving ourselves a pat on the back saying, good work boys, you're working for the Ummah. Great stuff, you're building Islamic centers. Yet Muslims are being bombed and killed and we sit around doing nothing. This is the situation of our Ummah.